They're delicate, daring, and delightful to watch but they're also endangered. The vulnerable migratory monarch butterfly was placed on the IUCN red list of threatened species this summer, with the eastern monarch population declining anywhere from an estimated 22% to 72% within the last decade. Habitat loss, pesticide use, disease, and climate change are just a few of the factors linked to the declining numbers. We've devoted a lot more time and money and energy to pavement than we have to maintaining our forests. And Texas holds a large responsibility when it comes to the monarch's fall migratory journey. They go all the way into Canada and then they start traveling back down to the areas in Mexico where they overwinter about now and they really are relying on all of the foodstuffs that have a lot of sugars for them to make that journey home because they're tiny and every little thing, wind, rain, it's all very difficult for them. So they really need a whole lot of food. According to the experts, monarchs are very susceptible to environmental changes. So temperature swings or lack of rainfall can affect migration. And unfortunately, the urbanization of royal habitats by humans may be adding to the declining population. We've broken up the pattern of food that they have normally relied on to get all the way that far south again. But it may surprise you how easy it is to take action towards help. We need to devote little patches of the land that we have to take care of to them. Think about leaving some space in your garden, allowing native plants to grow. The plants will help attract pollinators, but also will provide fuel and energy for flights. Throw out some zinnia seeds. Zinnias are a great feeder for not only migratory butterflies, but also hummingbirds. A few other nectar-filled favorites include salvia, lantana, and black-eyed Susan. They're the perfect butterfly shape. They've got, they've got their nectar kind of deep inside and the plant provides like a resting platform for them. With milkweed being the top choice for caterpillars, just remember some migrators may travel later than others. Even in the winter because if something has laid its eggs and then you cut it down and throw it in your compost heap then that's what's happened to that that new pollinator that you're expecting in the spring you're not going to have. When it comes to the transition from fall to winter one thing you may dread is the disruption of your biological clock. Up next, Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony is going to break down the controversial topic of daylight saving time.